Mr. Chase. Ah, yes. <laughs> All right, then. In that case, which were they fighting for? The expansion of territory or for freedom? Um, free freedom. <laughs> well, that would be a wonderful answer if we were talking about a war in my ethics class. <laughs> Things were getting bad. My imagination was controlling nearly all of my free time. It didn't used to be like this. It all started when I was young. Almost any time I nodded off in class, I would instantly be right in the middle of an action scene or war, a chase scene. It never really got too bad. Just a kid daydreaming. However, my freshman year of college, things became a little bit different. All right, class. Please turn in your notes to page two. Today, we're going to talk about Pope Gregory II. He had a very, very exciting childhood. Now when Pope Gregory II was a young man, his parents used to take him to church regularly, which can be no surprise to any of us since he was to become the Pope. This was the world of Pope Gregory II. Take me to your leader! I don't know what you're talking about. Your leader! Uh, Boss? Yeah. Supervisor? Uh, Manager? Faculty? Uh, no. Staff? The general. What he's trying to say is, where's the blooming commandant? Why do you all use that English accent? It's stupid. It's not stupid, it rolls off the tongue. It makes them seem a bit more tough, don't you think? You're not even from England, come on. Hey, I visited there last year, mate. Oh, shut up! <clears throat> shut up, guys! I'm not sure why they named him Phil. I thought you weren't going to show up. Sorry I'm late. This is Jones getting into class again. Again? You fell asleep in class again? She's just so boring. Don't you just wish you could, like, save the world sometimes? No, not really. <laughs> Must be a guy thing. What does that have to do with falling asleep in class? Uh, never mind. As you can see, uh, things weren't going well. I was failing my classes, my classmates thought I was crazy, and my girlfriend was beginning to wonder about me. Hey, Dave, did Mr. Douglas tell us to create two or three spreadsheets for this assignment? Um, pretty sure he told us, whoa, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? We've been in this class together for the entire semester. Goodness, Dave, what's the matter? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just joking. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Forget it, Dave. You're obviously stressed right now. Time. 
You just got me in trouble back there. Oh, come on now, Dave. You wouldn't be blaming your imagination for this now, would you? So it's my fault Kate thinks I'm a freak. Well, since I am a figment of your imagination, I would say, yeah, pretty much. Watch out! There's more of you? You got a big imagination, Davey. Quite the barracks they got here. It's a dorm. Right. Actually. Right. Well, I'll, I'll stand post here and you do your thing. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Right, I guess. You sure everything's okay? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just that. Well, everybody's been talking about how weird you've been acting lately. I'm not. I've been acting totally. No, I don't. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, can we sit in this chair over here? What's wrong with this chair? Dude, what are you talking about? Never That's what I mean, Dave. Why didn't you let that guy sit down? I was about to get crushed. That guy was the size of a Panzer tank. Well, I didn't want to. Uh, I just didn't want him to sit there, okay? Oh, there you go again, Davey, ignoring me. I can't believe it, Dave. You can't even listen to me for one second. One girl walks by and you get distracted. I don't think I can handle being ignored anymore. If she's so interesting, why don't you just go talk to her? No, Kate, it's not what you think. Man, that was cold, Dave. You gonna take that from her? I mean, I haven't felt that cold since December 1944, Battle of the Bulge. We were held up in the Ardennes Forest, about three other guys and me, just freezing to death in a foxhole, and I was their only source of protection. Just and... leave me alone. Davy. Oh, Davy. Oh, come on. No, no sorry. No. You've caused me enough trouble lately. Why can't I just handle my junior high imagination? Come on, Davy. No, no, Sergeant. Not this time. My girlfriend thinks I'm crazy, everybody thinks I'm nuts, and it's all your fault. <laughs> hey! Hello? What you working on? Could you use an imaginary friend? Hello?